Mason Smith will not play in that opening game against FSU. Why? Well, because he's suspended by the NCAA <clears throat> for something that happened in 21. He and Keishawn Bouti did an autograph signing before NIL. So I guess at the time it was illegal. Now it's not, clearly. Uh, Bouti sat out a, a, a game in 22 and – the reports are that Smith would have done the same, except he was injured. Obviously, he got injured in that FSU game, so he didn't get his suspension. Now, here's what's a little bit um, sus. Whenever Bouti sat out, he sat out two games, but one was because his child was born. He missed that game. The other one was because Brian Kelly said he had the flu. Was that his suspension, or did he have the flu? Was it both? We don't know. If you remember, a couple weeks ago, we reported that Mason Smith had a little bit of an ankle injury in camp, um, and they weren't sure of the se severity of the injury, didn't have an update on what was going to happen. And now I'm beginning to wonder whether that was, because they knew about the suspension earlier in the summer. This is not new news. It's new to us because we just found out about it, but this is not new news to the team, to Brian Kelly, to Mason Smith. They knew about this. So when they came out and said, hey, he hurt his ankle. We don't know what's gonna happen here. Were they almost setting up for him to be out that first game? And again, this is speculation. I just have to wonder because when he said uh, Bouti, had the flu, he was actually suspended. What, were they setting him up to miss that first game, his suspension, and no one would know about it? Like, what do you think that was? Was it an actual ankle injury? Why didn't they tell anyone about the suspension earlier when they found out? Why is it just coming out a week before the season opener? I think that's just, I think that's just a tactical advantage that Brian Kelly was taking, was we're going to appear as if everybody's going to play in game one, not give Mike Norvell and Florida State any sort of heads up as to who won't be available. I think their game, not having Mason Smith on the defensive line for LSU completely changes Florida State's game plan and their approach to the offense. So letting them know that three months in advance would potentially be beneficial for Florida State and you don't want to help them. I'm sold on that one. That makes sense to me. But I will say, I, there, there's nothing we can do about the suspension at this point. Correct. But can we talk about how moronic it is? I know. I don't agree with it at all. Considering NIL went live not too long after. And I get it. There was a rule broken. There should be consequences. I understand. Regard, but a, a fine? That's what I'm thinking, right? Why, why not go fine? Why not take that route? Especially when you have... Uh, a defending back-to-back -back playoff head coach with Jim Harbaugh over at Michigan who is negotiating a four-game suspension with the NCAA. Like, that was self-imposed. Yep. And then he went back on that and was like, mm, maybe we'll do three games instead, and now that's okay. So now we're just making our own punishments, but Mason Smith has to sit out for something that is not even illegal anymore. Like, it's just – it's so obnoxious, man. Tell me how you really feel, Joe. I'm pissed. Sheesh. He covers uh, college football, so – like all of college football, not just LSU. Check out the 10-second runoff if you want to know more about uh, everything going on everywhere else. But, yes, great insight. I agree with you. Um, it's kind of – there's gray area, and it seems there needs to be a uniform um, system. You I can't agree. let somebody do what Jim Harbaugh is doing and then turn around and we're having Mason Smith sit out a game where he, he probably could be fined and that would be the end of it. Yeah. That's what I think should happen, however – I'm not in charge, so it doesn't matter. Yeah.